Welcome back Kaiju fans, and I'm a little late to this because I was gone on vacation, but tons of Godzilla anime news regarding the sequel to Godzilla Planet of the Monster, and basically the official Godzilla anime website has updated with a new image related to the next animated film, currently translated as Godzilla Decisive Battle Mobile Breeder City. The image features Godzilla powering up his atomic ray in the distance, are three bright objects. Uh, pretty cool picture, obviously I'm going to have this up here. And there's also the synopsis for this that was translated via Crunchyroll, and it reads, After suffering a crushing defeat at the claws of Godzilla Earth, the seemingly immortal 300 meter tall 100,000 ton incarnation of Godzilla, who now rules the planet, Haro Sakaki, is rescued by Miyana, a native girl who belongs to the Futata tribe and descendants of humanity that were left behind on Earth during the initial evacuation. Meanwhile, Galagu, the leader of the Bilisali forces, realizes that the arrowheads of the tribe are made of nanometal, the same material that was used to build Mechagodzilla, a super weapon that failed to curb Godzilla's rampage, and that was presumed destroyed in a battle at Mount Fuji in the 21st century. Goromaru Island also reports that the tribe worshipped an undisclosed god, which is hinted to be Mechagodzilla, giving their connections to nanometal. The nanometal may be the plot device that enhances Mechagodzilla's size so it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Godzilla Earth. However, another article seems to hint that the tribe may have a connection to Mothra. Godzilla Decisive Battle Mobile Breeder City will be released in Japanese theaters May 18th, 2018. Pretty cool stuff. Um, that's honestly one of the things I was wondering about was the size difference between Mechagodzilla and Godzilla. It was going to be about 250 meters difference, so if they can find a way to enhance his size, then that would answer some questions that I've had in the past. I really hope that this is the way that they go with this. Um, I really don't think a plot device of Mothra in this film would be necessary. I think I think giving Mechagodzilla another time to shine again here would be the way to do it. I think it'd be one way to have a much more interesting fight for this film trilogy than just the classic Godzilla and Mothra battle that we've seen plenty of times, more more so than Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, especially the size of these kaiju at this point would be insane. Definitely cool. And then we got this new picture of Mechagodzilla that got released from the website as well. It's uh, an undershot. We can see his arm and stuff. A little bit more detail than what we've been able to see in the past. So that's pretty cool stuff, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we get to see Godzilla fight Mechagodzilla in the next film. If not, the conclusion that's going to be out at the end of the year. And with the Japanese the theatrical release at May 18th, um, we could probably assume that it's going to take about two months to get to Netflix like the original film did, so July, maybe even early August before we see the film on um, Netflix, but that'd be cool because that'd be, if, if we get it in July, that'd be right around G-Fest, so that'd bring some hype into that just from the film, but that's going to be it for this update, guys. I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.